Hey, 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 Sherry Brown here coming at you from SherryBrownCoaching.com. Five tips on how to work smarter and not harder in your business. So time, you know, can be an issue for some people if they're trying to build a business. And I first want to point out that it's not necessarily a lack of time that's an issue. It's how you utilize that time. And so... If you feel that maybe you know you're you don't really have enough time to sit here and get on Facebook on social media to post several times a day one way that you can you know one little workaround is to use different tools and resources to where you can schedule out your posts ahead of time there are different apps that you can get but like Hootsuite that you could actually use to schedule out your social media posts ahead of time also, if you have a fan page like on Facebook, that does give you an option of where you can schedule out your post. So my next tip is to utilize the time that you spend in the car. I have a job that you go to where like me, I'm a stay at home mom, but I still have errands to run. And so I'll utilize a lot of the time in the car working on my business. And a couple of examples would be you can listen to podcasts. I love listening to podcasts in the vehicle. Also, um, audiobooks. You can listen to audiobooks as well. You can do, you know, prospecting calls or follow up calls. Schedule those, you know, for when you're on your way to work. Number three is using tools and resources to leverage your time. What I mean by tools and resources, this could be videos that you've created, this could be blog posts, it could be, you know, PowerPoint, any type of resource that can help you leverage your time. So when I'm sitting here and I'm speaking to somebody and I'm having a conversation with them and, and maybe I ask them, you know, uh, you know, what do you feel like you're struggling with in their business? You know, if they say prospecting tips and I say, hey, you know, I've actually got a video that I can give you that you might find helpful. And so I'll shoot, uh, shoot them the link to the video. The fourth tip, if you are someone who has kids, I know trying to run a business and raising a family, you know, it can be a little bit tough to juggle, just to be honest with you. And so for me, I've kind of worked out to where she likes to sleep in a little bit in the morning. And so what I'll do is I'll actually get up um, earlier in the morning and I will use that time to focus on anything that needs my sole attention. So if you are someone who maybe you, you know, do a little bit better, you focus more at night, you know, instead of waking up early, maybe think about staying up a little later at night if you have kids. So that's just another option. And you can, you know, kind of create little pockets of time as well. So if you're at work and you get 45 minutes for lunch, you know, scarf your food down, you know, 20, 30 minutes, spend that last 15 minutes, you know, prospecting, reaching out to people, maybe shooting a video, going live. You know, there are all kinds of ways that you can find little pockets of time to where you can work your business. My last tip, which is um, outsourcing. And this is an excellent way to work smarter, but not harder. And I'm gonna kind of give you my story. There's a lot of non-income producing activities that I do or that you are doing in your business that you could possibly outsource to someone else. You can do this through, the, I have a couple of different resources for you. One is fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com and upwork.com. Last month, um, I hired a, and this is gonna be awesome for some of you, um, at Upwork, I hired a virtual assistant. And you can literally hire, there are some virtual assistants, guys, that you can hire to do a lot of your non-income, you know, producing activities, administrative activities um, if you don't feel like learning how to edit videos you can hire you know a virtual assistant to do all of your editing for you there are so many cool ideas and people who are already extreme extremely familiar that you could hire for super cheap I mean you can hire um, you know virtual assistants at Upwork for three to four dollars an hour. Like these tips and you would like more, feel free to visit my website at sherrybrowncoaching.com. You can actually enter your name and email and get my free download, which is a 60-minute webinar on how to brand yourself online. I hope you guys found some value and I will see you next time. Bye.